California? 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 <laughs> the middle class famous tour is coming to the left coast? Yeah, guys. April 3rd, we're going to be in San Francisco. April 4th, what? we're going to be in Los Angeles. April what? 6th, we're going to be in La Jolla. Get your tickets now. It's a little bit of stand-up. It's a little bit of AYG. It's a whole lot of fun. Do it. Ooh. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Yeah, it is. It's a little show we sit there with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they group to be classy yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. trash, trash I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. Yeah. She is off to spring break with the girls. Oh, yeah? All she packed was a toothpiece and a toothbrush. Okay. And I heard one of them say to the other one as they were going out the door, if I don't come back with herpes, it was a waste of money. Well, you know. So that's the week she, run, she runs with a tight circle. So if you're down there in Daytona, keep an eye out for Tony. Is that where she went? That's, of course that's where okay. she's not an asshole. I, thought you, I pegged her for a Myrtle Beach kind of gal. <laughs> <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? Kind of the head bozo around here. Mm -hmm. So do me a favor. He's my boss. Show him a little respect. Make me look good. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Mm -hmm. Full video available on YouTube. And as mm -hmm. you know, those numbers are... True to the roof. Yes, they are. baby. And then obviously, patreon.com slash you garbage. Closing in on our next goal of 3,600 patrons. Yikes. Where we get real fucking stupid. Check it out. Full episodes of AY, full bonus episodes of AYG, episodes of Hard Feelings, live streams, the whole nine yards. Fucking do it. Yeah, and how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man. Makes us all look good. We had one of our little drives in today, pounding around, ripping Bernie's, listening to music, trashing people. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? Hey, t -Bad. Man, we got a real-life Irish guy for St. Patrick's Day. Like, we're the local news. <laughs> <laughs> Who want to see the leprechaun say yeah? Over at Gary's Old Town Tavern. <laughs> Gang, the long hair's not lying. <laughs> I'm going to get a net and catch him. <laughs> Rub his belly for luck. <laughs> We could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back with us again today. He's part of the family pretty much at this point. What's up? Yeah. You know him. You love him. He is the host of the Column Terrell podcast. Do me a favor. Give a nice Irish cheer <laughs> to Kali T. Hey. Colin Terrell. Hey. Hey. Yip, yip. That's, a, that's an old Irish. Yip, is yip. It? Yeah, yip, you go, yip, yip. Is yip. it? Hooray. You go, yip, yip. Hooray. Oh, man. You I never do that? Some real that. rabble rousers over there. <laughs> you never did that? Hip hip, we in the say. Civil hip, War, maybe. Hip hip, hooray! Nah, it's yip, yip yip. No, no, isn't it? Not? It's not. Uh, I'm trying to score a coke at a bar in Dublin. <laughs> yip yip yip. yip. <laughs> Anybody? Yip yip. Over here. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can say coke in yip, twelve yip. languages. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Give me two. Uh, la coke. <laughs> <laughs> la nose beers. Parlez vous s'il vous plaît. What's yeah. cooking, buddy? Happy St. Patrick's hey, Day. Hey, thanks for having me in. I Is it anything it. over there? What's the deal? Yeah, yeah, it's a big day. And yeah. do you get this all the time? Yes. People always say, oh, it's a, people always, there's a rumor spread that it's not a big deal in Ireland. I, but I the, honestly figured it was just like white trash Irish bricklayer shit. No. Like I thought it was like my family. There's no, stuff. there's no burning desire within our hearts to celebrate it, but we do. We do Celebrate it just by know? boot like like the bars do it. The bars it's get like a, a for bar. your like and when you're in your twenty your teens and twenties and shit. Yeah, we'll have the big parade and yeah. so it's just a bunch of you know like I guess high school marching bands and like some stores, <laughs> you know, a couple of stores with a float. You know? <laughs> and, uh, and here comes the pharmacy. Oh, that sounds yeah. pretty into and it. Then a the, float. They, yeah, there's just you know just a floating whatever like a tiger. Mm -hmm. Just by Something. some sort of gas station, just build a giant balloon of a tiger, and then that goes up the main street. Everybody what? looks. Yeah. That's a parade, you know. Yeah. It's the usual. It's like the, the why a tiger? Because that'd be like the logo, the logo of the gas yeah. station. Well, like Exxon, something like that. You know <laughs> what the fuck is you, that? It did make it sound like some rinka ding <laughs> gas station. <laughs> like, oh, you mean Exxon Valdez? Big oil involved is involved nah, in this. Yeah, Big Tony's gas station, <laughs> and the, and he he'll sponsor the parade. What are your gas stations over there? They're always real weird. They Petrol. They yeah. Yeah. The petrol station. Just gyms. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <isn't it? laughs> 
Now you're fucking offended. <laughs> <laughs> now you cross Toby, the line. Toby, clippy, clippy. Do you get yeah, you get grilled all the time about Irish being Irish, this all and that, the, the yeah. whole nine yards. Yeah, it's it's kind of, weird to ask him about Portugal. You know, I mean, what the yeah. fuck are you gonna talk? Probably about? drunk it's, chicks at bars. It's, that, ki- I, it's yeah. kind of my gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he has got a red beard on. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't like playing into it. Red beard, yeah. a corn cob pipe. <laughs> you know, I hate when people bring it up. You know. <laughs> I, I oh, was I under the impression that it was a solemn day in Ireland. Solemn? Like, solemn, like sad. You went yeah, to we church. Yeah, pay, pay respect to the, st- to the snakes. Yeah, you um, paid respect to the, You went to church. Was Whoa. it really snakes? Is that the story? No, I think it's a metaphor for uh, non-Catholics, right, the snakes. Really? Ooh, that's what it is. It's like St. Yeah. Patrick got rid of the it. snakes, and by the snakes, they mean like it, the, the- Those the, dirty, dirty the, Protestants. The Protestants. Those, yeah. No, no, they survived. They were cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> you never read of St. Patrick and the cockroaches? <laughs> He's running around his room with a- uh, With a sandal. <laughs> with an aerosol can on a lighter, trying to kill all the Protestants. Yeah. That that only gets told in Dublin <laughs> <laughs> after two p- after two a.m. I presume. <laughs> you want to know about the real St. Patty? Uh, uh, yeah, so that's what he did. He just he's not even Irish, St. Patrick. He's from Wales or France or something. Because like a lot of he was a slave, white slave. We had them. <laughs> All right, doesn't get brought up enough. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's not coming. Glad you're not uh, bitter about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think he was a slave from what, Wales or France, and then they brought him to Ireland. A slave? Who was? Who was? Who owned him? Just a bigger man, you know. Yeah, that's just some, a, some real jack guy from down the street. Yeah, that's pretty hey, much. Hey, St. Patrick, <laughs> you're mine now. That's just the way. Take it, care of them snakes. That's Get your little way. pussy ass over here. Yeah, and then you're like, protect me, dad. And he's like, yeah, he's bigger than me too. Go on, go on. Now, I, I, what I, were the, what were the real? Who were the slave owners in Ireland? I, the, the Irish rich, Catholics, just richer people, yeah, just richer just, people, just anyone that was rich. Oh, like owned far slave. and away with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. N- Yes, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> Have you seen, I haven't seen I, it. I don't think there was any slaves in that movie at all. I mean, he was in servitude to a degree uh, in Ireland. Yeah, was he? Servitude? Yeah. Indentured servitude? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was like... The serfs. That, that was, Did that, you yeah. say that was, servitude? Because that yeah. sounds pretty rare. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hang 10 yeah. and get these goddamn snakes out of yeah. Ireland. Bro, I think you're thinking of Point Break with yeah. fucking Keanu. Hey, man. Indentured radical. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's tubular, dude. Yeah, Calabunga, man. Um, <laughs> Calabunga. So yeah. what 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 are, like what are your parents doing this St. Patrick's Day? I'm sure they'll just go down to the local bar and have a couple of pints of Guinness. That's I imagine. it. But you know, that's that, Pringles. You guys that, are big on Pringles. Really? <laughs> Every bar you go the in, Pringles. Behind the small it, tub of Pringles. They have the small tub of Pringles. And buddy, as a fat kid, about that, when I was 18, I was in heaven. What I are we talking? You, sour bar? cream. Uh, they got the cheddar, sour cream, they'll have and the, the rings. Sour, sour cream. They'll have the salt and vinegar ones, which is just red, I think. And then they'll have another flavor, usually maybe barbecue or something. Really? I'll tell you this. And Pringles. I never, Irish pub. All right. God, what a weird country. I, 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 Irish, pu- Irish pub snacks are fucking legit. Yeah. They're legit. You walk in, they'll have like weird mints. You know, the Everton mints. Ah, yes. Right before a night of drinking. I like <laughs> weird mints. Nah, Ever- Everton- Any black licorice, sir. <laughs> oh, they got the, and then they got the ba- bacon fries, which are just like uh, potato chips that like look like bacon and they taste like bacon. They're solid. on that. Every, every Irish person's childhood. Well, especially my generation, you grew up in bars because your parents would just bring you to the pub. Sure. And they would like, you would be friends. So your parents would be getting shit-faced drunk. You drove, by the way. Your parents would get shit-faced <laughs> drunk and you and the, the rest of the kids would just become like a gang. Because yeah. they would just go, go play with the other kids. Dude, I thought everybody grew up in bars. Just And the smoke, uh, just remember to smoke because yeah. everyone could smoke inside. Yeah, so yeah, you'd yeah. just be running around with these kids and then every now and again you'd look for money and your parents would give you money. You'd get like a glass of coke like you know like a glass bottle of mm-hmm. coke you get the everton mints you'd smash it over to the kid's head yeah, yeah, yeah who wants a piece yeah, yeah. shank a kid and get his pound yeah next thing <laughs> give you know, me your quid yeah, poor yeah. timmy didn't see it coming. yeah you're, you're trading everton mints like they're cigarettes in prison <laughs> we, we we would do that after um softball games my parents played softball okay that, that's where we would come into shit like that but wait are you talking about a bar that doesn't serve food most pubs wouldn't serve yeah, food. Most, yeah. So it's like it's like fucking. But they also do still serve the snacks. There's got to be snacks at a at a pub. Yeah, stuff, S- salty stuff to make you I keep drinking. Like that. Yeah, there's a, and there's a special type of crisps that's called pub crisps. You can't get them anywhere else. We call it chips crisp crisps. 
You do they come in a bag? Are they like a? They, co- they come in a bag, yeah, just a little bag. Now Pringles comes in a in the, a the, the short, yeah, little I mean, pin. Like that but shorter, like we have. That. Yeah, I know what a pig. I know what a little fucking thing of Pringles costs. Like. Yeah, I mean, that's a regular size of Pringles. For you. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little one. <laughs> All the bar snacks have like silly names. It's like it's like pig twirlies and shit. <laughs> Don't bad no pig twirlies, dude. <laughs> I'll slap you right now. I'll walk. I'll walk. Bring me downstairs for this shit. This that is sounds it. like a gang by the docks. Yeah. The, yeah, the pig w- twirlies got them. Yeah, that's what they got hemmed up by the pig twirlies. Yeah. Let it be known. This pub is now by order of the pig twirlies. <laughs> he got long shanked down at the wall yeah. by the pig twirlies. Uh, uh, the pig twirlies is funny, yeah. Somebody Don't said, or, or, or a friend of ours, uh, Bridget, on Twitter, tweeted about us going to Walt Disney World and said that we should not go to Walt Disney World. Go to Ireland. Go to fucking I'd go Ireland. I'd go to Ireland in a fucking heartbeat. Which uh, Hippie Joe over here said we could do that as one of our next goals, which I like that. International travel. Especially if you win your next one. Oh, yeah. You, you win. big spin. Yeah, 10,000 on black. They kept me up last night. What if we do, yeah. what if we do that? That's awesome. If we do hit, we go right to the airport and get on a plane to Ireland. Get all fucked up on pig twirlies for a couple of days. <laughs> Clear the right? schedule. Big man likes his pig twirlies. <laughs> Foley just heard about pig twirlies. Uh, Twenty seconds. Ago. He's, he's already he's already planning on spending ten grand to go eat them. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? That's what? his. That's how he thinks. They got Pringles, but smaller. Yeah. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta get there. <laughs> When's the best so time tell to go? Tell me about this faraway land with snacks that I know. When's the best time to go to Ireland? What city should we go to? Uh, and would I be accepted there, accepted there as one of the people? They'd like you. You're a novelty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What am I, a neon sign? You're a, you're, you're a stereotypical American. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'd all be making fun of me. Chip, huh? They'd be throwing pennies at you and stealing your soul. <laughs> Putting the cats nah, on me. They'll all be standing behind your back, and every time you turn around, they're yeah. like, whoa. They, they would just be slowly, you'd be like standing at an ATM, they would just slowly mosey over and try to take pictures with you. <laughs> they just fucking lean in. You go, get what? it, get it. <laughs> why, aren't you, yo, why, aren't you one of, why aren't you one of the twins on the motorbikes? <laughs> <laughs> Big fella, ain't you? Yeah. Look at the size of you. <laughs> no, Holy no, shit. Every they, pub you walk in, you would walk in. God damn. <laughs> we don't serve food. You would. There would be a turn around and go. You'd be get you would get called a big cunt a lot. That would be. Oh, you a big cunt, ain't you? Oh, look one at this big cunt. Yeah, yeah, one of those. <laughs> that's just. But that's a nice. I'm okay with that. That's nice. They're not. They're not calling you an actual. Irish cunt. guys are tough dudes. I'd keep my mouth shut while I was over there. You can't yeah. be. Yeah, dude. I don't run my mouth. Cold sores yeah. and pale skin. But mm. I, I, yeah. I feel you know like they I mean? would fight. It would just go quickly. I feel of, like it escalated way quick, way more quickly than it did in the, than at any bar I've been in the U.S. I think you got to remember people just start punching. Here's the thing: the, every, the chicks. everyone is hammered, so that's why the there's fights, a lot of booze. Yeah, I'm like booze and like going hard, and like I know it's like a stereotype, but the Irish do really go fucking nuts. Like every night, the goal is to get blackout, so, drunk. blackout drunk, puke, wake up the next day, don't remember anything. Down there, Temple just, Bar. Where's exactly. this? In Temp- Dublin? Everywhere. Is that where we want to go is um, Dublin? Yeah. Dublin, that's where you grew up. That's where I grew up, yeah. Dublin's awesome. Then you'd want to go out like west to Galway, maybe go south to Kerry. Ah, the cliffs. The Galway. cliffs. There's a, there's, a, there's a bunch of great stuff. Try going July or something. Cause, the home of my forebears. Okay, really? Kerry? Is what? that what you said? Or yeah. Your family's from Kerry? That's what they tell me. Yeah, yeah. Who a, knows though? I don't even know if I'm fucking Irish. Good reason for, to leave, Kerry. Not much. Not, not much going on. Not much hope. <laughs> I go back. Ho- I can revitalize it. Imagine yeah, you could. I could be like Zelensky. I can go back and become the president of Kerry. Nah, they'd slot you and have a feast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be ringing the bell when you got to town. <laughs> yeah, they're hillbillies out there. <laughs> no, but imagine it's a it's a village in Ireland somewhere just full of foley's. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Everybody Welcome looks home, like you. It's a bunch of broken park benches and shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. The, the country of caps- broken chairs all yeah. in the street. What happened to all the seesaws? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you have a good time. Like you, Ireland, for me, it's not somewhere I'd probably live. Um, not now, anyway. But like, it's a good trip. It's a fucking good trip. Yeah, I kind of want to go now. I'm all juiced up. Oh, oh, well, we want to go. Do, we want to do UK shows and Ireland shows. Mm. Nice. We want to do European shows. Which we, we're gonna we line can, up. We can yeah. go back and forth, UK to Ireland. Yeah, it's, it's they're a, not gonna it's, give us any static, are they? There's a little beef there. There's a, there's a little bit of history. Yeah, we're cool. 
You, maybe I don't know how it works for Yanks. Yeah, you're but a lot of, yeah, you're allowed to you go can, fucking wherever. I'll switch accents. But you, you you would have to get separate work visas, I think. Whoa, whoa, what? whoa! What with these shows, fucking Molly Maguire's I'm work donating visas. My what time are you talking on these about? Shows. This guy's a fucking narc. I'm bringing in international tax uh, brackets. Work tax visas. Brackets. What do you work for? <laughs> Interpol. <laughs> it's the deal. I'm trying to help you out. Yeah. You'd have to have a work visa for us to go over there and do shows. You gotta have a work visa. Yeah, if you if, if you if, go if, get money, yeah, of course. Have you? This is fucking it's America. This queen's insane. out of control. Yeah. You mean well, you, I can't just show up and work at a foreign country? I thought it was different when we go the other way. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Goes, what, a guy who's goes, left the country what, once a week goes, ago. Come on, I'm good for it. <laughs> Can you pay me in bills? Because you don't let me work. We're nuking you. <laughs> Do they use euros over there in Ireland? Ireland euros, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I already know how to use euros. You already know how to use from them? my time in France. Wow, I how didn't, long did I didn't know you were you? so cultured. Yeah, right. <laughs> he's still got a couple at home. So, like, I'm so, going back. I didn't know what I was spending. No, I'm like that too. Too with Americans, like I never really learned the coins. The I coins. Just, I just like sometimes people are like, oh yeah, it's like forty five, whatever, and I'm like. <laughs> what can I get with this? Money? I never learned less than a quarter. I never. I don't know what the. Like, I, li- I like is. that. There's no. There's no. There's no change over there, right? No, there is. There is. Yeah. There's yeah. Not, I thought it was not for you. <laughs> I, th- <laughs> I thought it was two dollars. Was the lowest? Was no, the lowest. no. They have two two dollar euro t- coins. They have two one. And then like a dime, the usual shit. I don't oh, think they, they do. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's oh, a dime? I don't, I don't fuck with any They have that. a ten piece, ten, a quarter, twenty five. No, 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 no twenty fives, no twenties, twenties, ten, yeah. twenty, fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't fuck with any of that. No. You what don't, was the you Irish don't, you, money called before they switched over to euros? Pash potatoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me get two scoops so on three. <laughs> Valuable. <laughs> ah, come on, that's pretty good. <laughs> Especially around this time of the year. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> will, your mom, will your mom throw a nice feast on St. Patty's Day? She's down at the pub getting all boozed up. What are you talking about? She put the, I don't know. Put the thing in the oven. We don't have any traditions. When we were kids, we used to go in and watch the parade, for sure. As, we, all right, when you got to like 20, or what, like in your 20s. Yeah, you would probably still just go out drinking. You just go maybe. get fucked up, right? Yeah, if not at least a weekend around it, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe they already all went out the weekend See, just we gone. did it like it was fucking Easter. It was like we had my mom, we had to go to church. That's fucking, fucking stupid. Corned beef and cabbage, the whole nine we, yards. We, we might have done church as We'd kids, have to know about what happened and like the suffering and the this yeah, and the that. Yeah, that was a lot of school shit. You know, you'd like, yeah. When you're in school, you'd, you'd cut up like shamrocks and shit and hang it around the. the oh, yeah. You would do that, like, like color uh, a leprechaun, take it yeah, home, put it on the fridge. Yeah, Mom's pants. Beat up out an drunk. Italian. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Chase the Italian, get down the hallway. The you best, St. Patrick's Day was great. Yeah, but it's it sloppy because everyone's drunk. All the teenagers are in town. Oh, it's a mess. And there's a big carnival in town. So they got like the big wheel and all that type of just really? like all sorts of, sort of ride. You oh, know? That's pretty fun. So, but like sick. all the kids are just there drinking like vodka orange. They're all getting drunk in McDonald's at 12, like 12 years old <laughs> and uh, and 12 o'clock a day. So it's like a, it's a messy night, you know? Yeah. And ev- every pub is packed too. So it's, it gets too busy. It's like, I like it. It's eleven year olds bare knuckle boxing in the yeah. street. You gotta start young, you know what I mean? With a big with a McGriddle in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I also have always like, oh, that sounds great. You would hate you dude, a bunch of drunk kids in packed bars, you would fucking yeah. hate it. Oh, they'd be they be You don't even like sit in a booth at a diner. They'd have me yeah, crying in the oh, car. Oh yeah. <laughs> tubby Tubby Woody would be Get up! The best they had, we had an alternative for a while, which I loved, which was called Guinness Day. Did you ever hear Guinness Day? No, that sounds pretty so good. So Guinness Day was awesome. So what they did was for like the 250th anniversary of when Sir Arthur Guinness signed his thousand year lease on yeah. the St. James's yeah. Brewery. Mm-hmm. Uh, Smart man, thousand, a thousand, thousand years, thousand, thousand year years. lease. Yeah, man, that's what that dude was doing back then. Well, I that think he's playing. Chess. Wait, hold on. Yeah. A th- he signed this guy signed a thousand year lease. Yeah. at a fixed cost. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. up next so week. I'm gonna make a play at it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's go well, international. What was it? Boys. It had to be like pennies. It was in. Um, it was, I don't, yeah, it was less than nothing. He bought it for like fucking ten pounds. They're something. still they're going. still operating under that yeah, lease today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they sold off most of the land, but they're still operating under that lease. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. They tell you when you go to the factory, they fucking I, they mine. I didn't fucking that know that. That's pretty smart. 1802, 1801, roughly like that. So that's what, what everybody should do. A thousand year lease? Yeah, bring yeah. that up. Bring that up next time you're gonna renew this place. Yeah. <laughs> no, we should do that in an apartment. That wait in a thousand years, my our fa- our family will have an apartment. Why would in, any in landlord New York? give you a thousand year lease? Also, I think they're I'm, idiots. I'm, I'm, they don't. I'm, know. They're not. They're landlords. I'm pr- I'm Who did pr- fucking uh, Arthur 
rented from? I don't know. I think that was the British government, and they're gone now. So it's Suckers. like whatever. T Bone's got some info. What do you Wait, got? T-bone? I'm pretty sure that the lease is uh, not valid anymore. They just bought the land eventually. Yeah, I think it's I'm more sure. of like a honorary type thing. I, I got some real good Irish stats on Arthur's Day, also known as Guinness Day. Yes, Arthur's Day was awesome. Yes. Uh, there was a 30% increase in ambulance call-outs in Dublin on the night, and more than 2,000 <laughs> hospital beds were occupied with alcohol-related illnesses. Right. <laughs> right. And that's that's on top of an already high percentage of alcohol yeah. illnesses. Just so you know. Yeah. They were... They were <laughs> really getting that's after like, it. Yeah, that's like when LeBron has a good game. Most of those are beer bottles like, to the head. Yeah, of course. Most of them are underage kids. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Mm-hmm. Gang, we have a lot of relationships in our lives, don't we, Kippy? Oh, a lot. A lot of friends that if something ever happened to them- A lot of family, too. You would drop anything. You would do whatever they want. I'd be out the door right now. Whose car are we taking? Exactly. One of the most important relationships you have for your entire life Mm -hmm. is the relationship with yourself. And this month, BetterHelp wants to remind everybody that that is the most important relationship that you have. So it's important to invest in yourself to try to take care of yourself. You're hitting the gym, you're trying to eat right, you're trying to move yourself forward. I'm trying to feel a little better. Don't forget about your mental health, and BetterHelp Online Therapy can help. Yes. Uh, BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to, or if you like a little peeky-peeky, by all means, turn a camera on. Nice. Uh, you can give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online. It's much affordable than in-person therapy, and can be ma- and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours that's a huge thing. If you haven't ever tried to find a therapist, finding a therapist is very hard. Dude, you're the call telling backs, me. The waiting. You're the telling this, me. That, 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 if to have a th- therapist under 48 hours gets you in the pool, you can then switch. You can always switch if you don't like them, but you're at least in the pool. You're swimming. You're doing a mental health care. And you might not have those specialists in your area, and BetterHelp can... Uh... Take care of up with that. Global. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and all you garbage listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash garbage. That's betterhelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash garbage. Do it. Kip, let's talk about Athletic Greens. AG1? Listen, it's no secret. That's my secret weapon. You're like Popeye. You're drinking so much green juice, baby. I've been taking it. I take it to the gym with me. I sip it throughout my workout. I leave there feeling better. It's an all-in-one, baby. Yeah. The gut health, the immunity, it's fantastic. It tastes great. And here's the thing. What's that, buddy? Here's the testimony to how good Athletic Greens is. Mm -hmm. They sent us a free batch. Yeah. I use that. Uh Uh-huh. I'll use the samples. Oh, yeah. But let me tell you this. What? I re-upped. Yeah. On my own. Use the promo code. (laughs) But I re-upped. Wet your beak on the back end. Dude, they got me hooked. I love it, man. Yeah, they're fantastic. I would not want to be without it. Uh, well, if you're wondering what is Athletic Greens, what's AG1? It's one scoop of Athletic Greens. You're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods. That's what it is. Probiotics, right Adapto mm. Greens to help you start your day right. Special blend of ingredients support your gut health, nervous system, immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, aging. Everything you want to work on, AG wants got you covered. And if anybody knows about nervous, it's this guy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, it costs less than three dollars a day. So if you're investing in your health, it's way cheaper than you know some mocha latte frappuccino. A little water, throw it in. You shake it up. You're out the door. Uh, no blenders, no fucking Vitamixes, none of that crap. I know. Everybody's taking some sort of multivitamin. I take two of these, one of these, this over that. Da, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Help this take it so your body absorbs it. AG1's got you completely covered. It's lifestyle friendly. Whether you eat paleo, vegan, dairy free, or gluten free, they got you covered. Boy, you're a big fat pig like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is offering travel packs. Uh, and they're going Very to give nice. you a free one-year supply of immune system-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, one more time, athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Take ownership of your health today by the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Do it. <clears throat> no, but Guinness Day didn't have any of the kids. So what they did was they had this like random celebration. And at a minute past six, everyone would cheers at Guinness. So they had this big advertising campaign. And then they booked a bunch of musical artists you know they booked you two and all these like Kasabian what? and all these guys you're they- talking about this like it's small town N- shit no you got no. exxon you got fucking bono <laughs> we got it all <laughs> big time shit uh you but, two ain't cheap but what they did so G- guinness did this the thing and so then they let's say they had you two at like one of the biggest theaters or biggest stadiums or whatever but they also had like local acts at little small bars but they didn't tell anyone 
was that they booked all the big names to also play the tiny little rooms, but they didn't tell a single person. Uh, that's pretty good. So, so, like, you, so people bought 50, like if a little 50 seater bar just to see some local fucking Joe Schmo acoustic play bullshit. Yeah. yeah. And next thing you know, like if like a famous band just walked the in. The Pogues roll out. Yeah, just like Kings of Leon or something just walked in and it was just like, yo, we're about to perform. And it was like, blew their fucking that's mind. Fucking it was, that's it fucking it was awesome. The, and then it was so good that they ran it for a couple of years. They had like five years. It was every year. It was like, it was like my favorite fucking thing. Damn. It was, was awesome. That? But then they, they got rid of it. Why did you just look over your shoulder? I thought the ghost oh. of Arthur was going to come get him. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. He was a proddy too. Yeah, but I, I, right I, in front of my mouth. That's <laughs> a prob- gonna make there, it. there is a problem with Arthur Guinness was a Protestant. So every time I'm getting, it's like I feel, I do feel conflicted. It's tough. It would just be better if he wasn't. <laughs> I don't like. I can't explain it, but it would just be better. It I just, just, yeah. It's just in your. It's in your it dirtbag DNA. It would understand. just. It would just suit me more. Yeah. That maybe that's why there's alternatives. There's like Murphy's and stuff like that. It's also a great stout. Murphy's Beamish. These are all other stouts that are really good. That and are how do you know I'm if a Guinness man? How do you know? Yeah. If I can't stand Guinness. You piece of fuck. I can't man. do it, man. <laughs> that's the Italian in you, you dirtbag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a nice white wine. <laughs> oh yeah, is that what you want? Don't do. Don't be ordering wine in Dublin. No. No. What? They'll chase me out? Yeah, fuck it. No. Well, I'd like a harp. Can I have a harp? <laughs> you can. Do you know harp. how to play it? Come on. <laughs> what, what about, are you a, doing? What about it? A, cut cheese with it. What about a nice bass ale? They probably... <laughs> I got them on that one. That's funny. I'm sure they have a nice IPA over there. Maybe, Probably yeah. now, yeah. Maybe yeah. now, yeah. You can do that, yeah. Or if you want to go fancy, get a Budweiser. I, re- I remember I watched an old guy order a Budweiser and all of his buddies... We're fucking being like, you believe this hoity toity pizza? Yeah. Budweiser it's an import. Fancy? It's an import. Budweiser, I'd be like drinking line. a Stella Artois. It's all expen- it's expensive Yikes. stuff. Yeah. yeah. It was like if a beer was like I don't know fucking three euros, the blood yeah. was like five fifty or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were you were a big. Really you're flexing a, in there. You're a big time boy if you're drinking Budweiser with out with the lads. A couple man. of bud heavy. <laughs> That's crazy. Will you drink S- will someone? You, will you drink Powers or Powers no? whiskey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinda. I'm not really. I don't have the palate for. Differentiate amongst whiskeys, though. So yeah, I'm just she's like, she's a whatever. fucking dirtbag. Whatever brown shit you want. Not drinking out of a sniff. Whatever bag. brown horse shit you <laughs> yeah. want to tell me is whiskey. I'm, 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 I'll bang it in. Only if you're running through a decanter first. <laughs> I yeah, did let's I, aerate this thing during the lockdown. I bought fucking sniffers. <laughs> really? <laughs> All that stuff, and I was like, just to get it into just, it. Yeah, I was getting into it, but it was like, I just never, I could just never get past it. It was just like, it's all just the same to me. Whiskey's just like. What it. were you drinking out of the snifter? Whiskey. You're supposed to drink cognac out of a snifter. Now you can still do it for whiskey. You can? Yeah. I mean, it worked. I don't think it's. I don't I think it's going to not let you. Yeah, you could use a cereal bowl, too, if you <laughs> want it. I mean, what the fuck? So can we go to Ireland? Because now I kind of want to go. I'm all juiced up. I've talked. You guys are going to have a great Dude, time. Dude, it's like you have, the, you have the mind of a goldfish. We've talked about going and doing shows guys, in all of these European yeah. cities. Can Kali T come with us? No. No. Yeah, we need a, we need a Sherpa. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna need boots on the ground. Somebody, we need a translator. Yeah, over there. someone who speaks the language of these so, animals. It's like the Middle East, guys. I'm gonna get pulled over by the local cops. I go, don't. And I'm speaking. Yeah. I'm speaking English to them, yeah. but you don't understand what we're saying. <laughs> He's switching SIM cards and shit back and forth. <laughs> well, don't look them in the eye. Don't look them in the eye. Don't look the horses in the eye. Who's the, who's the fat guy drinking wine? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, they all got guns drawn. What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> the jeep is surrounded. <laughs> 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 it's just a bunch of quick cuts. What's he saying? I don't know. Who's he? I'm American. I'm American. Holly, yeah. what's going on? Yeah, you're sleeping bag throwing over your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! No, you guys would love it. I'm always telling everyone to go. To Ireland. I loved it, man. I, everyone I had, a great, had a great time. Everyone has a good time in Ireland. I went it's at such impossible. a young. I think it was 21, maybe. Oh, so it was my like God. fucking me. And my boys were just gambling at all those backdoor casinos. Yeah, yeah. Can my mom come? Not with me. She could travel with us. No. She'll Who stay wants in my to room? do that? Teach it to hold a camera. And <laughs> yeah, right. If Toby needs a, if Toby needs an extra set of hands, maybe it's in the production budget. Get my yeah. mom, get my mom gripping. Yeah, mama, mama, how's she with a boom mic? Mama fo- yeah. Foley holding, leaning over with the boom mic. Yeah. <laughs> no way. While you guys are, while you got trying to uh, kiss the fucking um, the Blarney Stone. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't do that. No. Is that cheesy? Don't do that. Don't do that. No, whatever you do, don't. How do people get hurt? Why? Why? Way? Yeah, because yeah, it's a know. stone that millions of people kiss a year. Wait, also, people... I don't think you would fit out under it, right? I honestly, no offense. It's a tight, no offense, but it's a tight yeah, squeeze. The castles are only so big. <laughs> yeah. They were built a long time ago when humans weren't, when elephants weren't allowed inside. Yeah. This is a cash grab. I that knocked was the castle this... over like. <laughs> so it's just around you, like one of those barrels. <laughs> Look like King but, Kong in the middle well, of it. Well, you got to, yeah, so the, the, 
the Blarney Stone, which is like a castle in Cork, has like a, a some random fucking hole in the the roof of it where you can you gotta lean upside down like you're doing those like fucking sky crunches or whatever, mm-hmm. and then you kiss this stone, and it gives you the gift of the gab, which means you just talk a lot. But actually, what it gives you is uh, cold sores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what it gives Simplex you. Simplex four. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't recommend it. I do know local teens that have pissed on that stone just to like. Fuck yeah, as, as goofs. Well, sounds, like a, goofs. sounds like a real nice bunch of kids over yeah. there. Well, what do you expect? You come in here with your dollars <laughs> <laughs> and your Budweisers. Yeah, yeah. You think, I don't want. You think I never want to be that guy. You, I never want to be the tourist. That's why we always yeah. do anti-tourist stuff. So I wouldn't do that. Yeah, but go to a nice mass. See a nice Catholic mass. What? Have a nice shepherd's pie. Yeah, they go are. out to the cliffs, smell yeah. the grass. Yeah. yeah, all the local stuff. That's all tourist shit. You just need like the three things. Nuh uh. Go to mass. That's crazy. I've never heard of anyone go to an Irish mass. No, why not? Because you it's see like the Catholic, most Catholic church. Or boring, whatever. worst time of your life. Just. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> And then just some fucking prick going, um, and Jesus said to his disciples. It's like, <laughs> I can't even imagine a world where that would be fun. I Sure, you, in America, you go to some sort of black gospel fucking, woo! Yeah. You know, you make me want to shout. Something with like a, yeah, something with a shout. jazz band. That's or it. There you go. What do you okay. think? What do you think? We got cool in the gang playing over I, here. I, I, I miss, I've always assumed black church is just black a church lot is of oh, awesome. Does, yeah. a guy, yeah. does a guy on guitar just Yeah, anytime there's a Kill drummer it. on the altar, you know yeah. you're in for a good time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah. Some heavy set dude with oh, dreads yeah? is fucking poof, 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 yeah. murdering it. Just so banging out some Nicki Minaj up there just fucking <laughs> bam, bam. couple of slow yeah. jams on a Sunday but can I, ju- can I just say one thing about the Blarney Stone which, is, which is even more fucked up it's, it's not it's not within pissable range it's because it, it's underneath something so what they what they have to do is you, you piss into an empty beer can and then they will lower their friend in and they will oh, splash it up. Jesus so that's Christ. even that's above and beyond. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty fucked up. That's, that's crazy. vicious. Yeah, and you don't get splashed back on your hands. These young kids, what well, you know? We've all done crazy. To be honest, thing. though, like there's no. It's not like that just lingers on a rock, right? No, it's the like, water will wash it off. I Something don't know like about that. that. So, I'm, I'm not that? fucking kissing that thing now after all that bullshit. And I ain't ordering no Budweiser. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Drink I'm Guinness? gonna have a Guinness, you know, and a stew, couple of pringies. and a stew. Yeah, this is all some Pringies, some bangers and mash, some Twiddle Pigs. I'm getting homesick, man. I'm not What's it called? Mash, right. Yeah, I'm getting homesick too, and I've never even been there. I want to go. I, I don't know. Now. What was it called? Pig twirlies? Is that what you said? I don't know. Yeah, I did. It was pretty good. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was made up. I thought they were real. That's no. an imaginary snack. Yeah, uh, that really oh, ran with What them. the fuck? <laughs> this really? Guy's good. This guy's good. A little thing called yes and. Damn. <laughs> thank you, you too. Thank you, Key and Peel over thank here. Thank you, Second City. You guys been meeting up without us? What's yeah. happening here? <laughs> you guys are talking to me like audience members after live shows. Like, wow, you really do stand up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're better than I thought. A couple of workshops. Your laugh isn't as, as annoying in, in public either. A couple that's, of workshops at the Magnet Theater, huh? You get that a lot. Yeah, that's fuck. Uh, there's nothing like, uh, I don't really host that much anymore, but there's nothing like quite at the end of a hosting show. It's like, yeah, man, you should do comedy too. So, yeah. I remember uh, you got that I, at I, I, I get it all the time. You got it at New York Comedy Club one time. and Not that long ago. It, Fuck it. It was it killed you. And it gave me nothing but pleasure. Yeah. I saw the words come out of his mouth and just hit you in the head in pink mist. Man. What's that fucking guy's problem? I got it last week too when I was because I still host costume. You weren't show. even hosting. No, I just closed out. Hey, you should do comedy sometime. <laughs> I just saw you were the bus boy, but apparently you got some pretty good chops. You're around it enough, you know, you pick some things up. Yo, that thing you just made up had a lot of very constructed. I host I host Michael Costa's new joke night at yeah. New York Comedy Club, which I love doing. because uh, I love him. He's fantastic. And that yeah, that happened last week. They come up and the way the people talk to you, it's so like even as comics, it's like they they're so demeaning sometimes. Like like, you know, like, what, well, you know, well, so what else do you do? And, you know, what were you doing before this? And, and then, do you, you know, do you do the jokes to say, I fucking just did 10 minutes, you fucking asshole. Come out here. I'm trying to have a smoke, trying to relax. You're busting my fucking balls. Nah, <laughs> fucking bullshit. And that him. fucking prick was with some fucking <laughs> smoke show. It was a Friday night. I fucking <laughs> murdered. <laughs> And this dickhead comes up to me yeah. after the fucking show at a crowd yeah. party, fucking yelling like we're at a fucking airport. He's like, "Oh yeah, you're really good. You're you, pretty good too, you, man. Yeah, you're pretty good too. Yeah, you, you ever do you ever do stand up? What the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah. I good. do two seconds of crowd work. Good, maybe. Fuck them. You know what? You're past that. Give me a Those fucking days. Guinness. Those you? days are over. 
That's and right. Fuck that guy. Except for Tuesdays at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> the Air Comedy Club on 4th Street. Come see us. $10 tickets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think they are 10 bucks, to be honest with you. Uh, and we live stream. Do you? That's funny. I believe he does. I did I, I did that show a month or two ago, and I bombed so hard that it was like, it was like almost like, I was just like. And I, those new joke nights are weird because you got to get a fun rhythm of like, dude, they really have to like you. No, nah, what I, you got to do is host and just yeah, do your old material. Uh, yeah. I, you murder. <laughs> I was, and everybody else yeah. looks like fucking boozers. But I. <laughs> I was bombing so hard that they weren't even throwing rocks tonight, T-Bone. They weren't even acknowledging that I was like on. I was like, "Hello," and yeah. I was kind of like, "Hello." Everybody is rattled. And the then, cage. and then I did a joke. Doctor Drinko. And I was hey, like, "Hey, I'm here, asshole." At one point, I was like, "This is the worst, honestly, the worst set I've probably ever had in my life. It's crazy." I was like, "And I was like, I'm not even doing new stuff." This is I'm, nice try. I, the, the, yeah, I told him. I go, "I'm not even doing new stuff. I'm, I wasn't I'm there. cheating." Who was right hosting? And okay. Yeah, so that's that was probably on him. Yeah, <laughs> no, <good. it> was. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was rough. That was the a rough best. one. And then it's getting streamed too, so there's just like ten other people <laughs> yeah. watching. There's me thirteen people in Ohio <laughs> watching. You just, eat it. Yeah, some guy in Papua New Guinea's just fucking watching this guy. <laughs> what the hell? Where's that? Let's go there. You should go to Papua New Guinea. That's, really? That's, Have you been there? No. Have you ever heard of it? Do you not even know what it is? It's like the most uh, isolated place yeah. on planet earth oh it's for the cannibals right exactly you show up they're gonna harpoon you papua new guinea would be a good little trip where have you been give me everywhere you've been we talked uh, about this a little bit on your podcast yeah go by check the way it. check out Colm's podcast of course he uh much like us he risked it all got uh has built his own studio he's and in yeah. the building baby he's in the building the fucking he's a, a couple floors away oh, from us yes. so go check him Thank out support him it's fucking we just did it last week yeah it's, so uh, if you haven't watched it already go boys watch do it. numbers the kids do a couple of numbies. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for all your help. Honestly, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Of you course, guys, you guys happy really to help. Love a guy mm. standing up against the man really? yeah. saying, "Oh yeah. fuck yourself." I love it. You, you were like, "He bet it all," and I was like, "Man, I wish I only bet it all." Yeah, this uh, guy. This I, guy. I, I bet a lot of Bank of America's money. <laughs> <laughs> Those dumb cunts. I you, and I guess what? Chase is getting in on the action too. <laughs> Good thing they don't talk, am I right? <laughs> Sir, I didn't th- realize we were in the podcast business. Yeah, good thing there's not some sort of a credit system that yeah. they all uh, fucking work. Oh, they'll with. come knocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, check them out on Patreon. Nice, I like that. Please go check it out. You're yeah. getting a little deep with the cards, with the, with the credit cards? Small business loan? Yeah, it says a, yeah that's, the, that's one way of putting it. Yeah. Um, not, but listen, anytime I've ever had credit card debt in the past, I've always paid it off, so... Sure, this is ten times higher than any of that. But that, like you know, what it's the same principle, right? Sure. Let me ask you this: if shit if shit went south and you bolted back to Ireland, you're scot free, right? They're not going to come get you. Yeah, no, there's no international thing for twenty grand or whatever. You're really? doing it with training wheels, then. I really risked it, it all. It would have to be. I what? didn't know that. No, I'm kidding. Saying yeah. if you can just go leave yeah. and start over in another country. Yeah, but can we do that too? You guys could go back to. Your I could. Parents I house. could go to Germany. <laughs> go at least, at least you parents. guys have somewhere to go live. It's true. Like my I'm mom ha- would rat me out in two seconds. <laughs> that fat bastard's downstairs on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> He's smoking my cigs. Yeah, he has money for beers. I tell. I saw him. <laughs> he was at the pub two nights ago. <laughs> I swear. He's got money for sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. So where have you been? So you know, obviously the usual. Anywhere in Ireland, anywhere in Britain, uh, Spain is a huge vacation spot for my generation of people in Ireland. Where'd um, you go? What island? Would you went to the like, Ibiza? I went. To, I I worked in Ibiza for a summer one time. Actually, what? He just yeah. pronounced it with the Ibiza. Ibiza. Ah. Well, I, I always forget what like I Lindsay say. Lindsay Lohan. Ibiza. Or something. Yeah. What do, you say? Been there. what do you say? Ibiza? Ibiza. Ibiza. It's not Ibiza anyway. No. It's Ibiza. Well, what's Ibiza? the fucking Avicii song? With a T, but I took you, a pill in Ibiza. Yeah, he's an Irish guy. It's not a, first of all, it's not a Vici. It's Ibiza. Mike Posner. What? He says, he, he says, he doesn't say Ibiza. Thought Take a did. pill in Ibiza, I think he says. No. Kids on drugs. You, you guys are Miss Aaron. It's Ibiza. <laughs> yeah, it's Ibiza because it's like the bad Ibiza. Ibiza. Yeah, but we we don't really do the, I think. We just go Ibiza. Like Ibiza. Ibiza. Like, like Ibiza my wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my, yeah, my girl got lippy, so Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, What'd but, you do there for the summer? At first, we sold. Uh, pub crawl tickets. So what would happen is every going night, around the beach. Like, like I've seen them do that in Miami. Go, go to different um, hotels. Just go up to people. Go hey, we're having. You're going right. up to hot chicks, hitting them up to come to the trying, club. Yeah, yeah, trying to. But it, it ended up. You can't go to the hot chicks. The hot chicks get them. You got to go up to like the sixes. Yeah, that's um, what I saw in Miami when we were down there. 
They would go up to the, these good looking dudes all like waxed up. Yeah. Would go to hot chicks and they and they would say, Hey, come to this party tonight. Yeah, he's yeah, not we, a good looking you're, yeah, a good looking guy but walks I was, up to a I, good looking girl, hey, come to this party. Other people like us are gonna be there. Yeah. If I, he walks, I'm saying he's gotta walk up to the sixers. He's got a yeah. hoodie and jeans I, on. Yeah. I was waxed up too. <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 showing off my tits. And I go, listen, just buy a ticket, I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty bucks, I'll leave you alone. Kip, let's talk about ladder. Ladder. Let's talk about ladder, baby. You know what you got to do. What's that? You got to get yourself a little term life over Ooh. there at ladder. A little bit of TL. You don't want to leave the family holding the bag. Yeah. Huh? Beef and beers and go funds me. Those are for bozos. Yeah. You want to get do it, it the right way above board. Ooh, I've already been warned. What? That I'll be thrown in the where the dog poops behind the garage. <laughs> You're going to little... need a big poop baggie to get you. <laughs> if I don't get a little term life. Yeah. And ladder can help. No needles, no doctors, no nothing. Three mil we're talking here. Yeah. That's cash. When you apply for three million, no needles, no doctors, no paperwork. That whole, not, you know. Uh, it just takes a few minutes. Take phone, that down to AC. Phone, laptop <laughs> uh, to apply. Ladder's got smart algorithms working real time to find out if you're instantly approved. Yeah, there you go. No waiting around. Yeah, who wants that? You go, hey, mm, guy yikes. with coffee breath. Fucking what? If I was sitting there waiting, on, watch the clock ticking on three mil. Woo! Wait. Real. Yeah. Lose it. Uh, issued by long proven histories of paying claims, rated A. An A plus by AM's best. I don't know what that means, but these guys came to play. If they're dropping it, Sounds tactical. you know it's serious. So go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L A D D E R life.com slash garbage. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Kip, let's talk about Babel. Babel. Let's talk about Babel. Bonsoir, monsieur, madame. Parlez-vous anglais, s'il vous plaît? Hola, como estas? Me llamo Kippy. Hola, señorita. ¿Cómo estás? Mi amo es el gordo. Mi pingue es muy pequeño. <laughs> Babel, baby. You yes. want to learn a new language? It's the easiest way to do it. It's like learning a language with bite-sized pieces, and they don't use AI. Let's not forget Terminator. Huh? <laughs> you want to get jammed up. Yeah, so no come kidding. back from the future to try to teach you Portuguese or something. Yeah, you want to learn, you want, you want to learn French from somebody with red eyes? <laughs> Face falling off? Uh, now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app has sold more than 10 million subscriptions. It's addictively it's fun, easy way to learn a new, new, new language. They make it perfect to learn language on the go. Uh, teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective with Babbel. You can choose from 14 different language, languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, German. Nice. Uh, and whatever they speak in Foleyville. Right now, if you purchase <laughs> the three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com. Use promo code GARBAGE. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Code GARBAGE. Babbel. Language for life. Now back to the show. Back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I won't show up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then we just stopped them. Um, we ended up becoming friends with all the people on the strip, all the bouncers. Because so you're not allowed into a bar with your own alcohol. But we became friends with, like, as in, so you can't leave one bar and then just walk into the bar across the street. But because we knew the bouncers, they would let us go well, in. Yeah. But we lived right on the strip, so we used to. I mean, when we budgeted, we had a budget. We had like seven euros a day type of finances but we would but what we we would do what's the point of going yeah because you're young dumb and full of cum yeah it's nice right you're in ibiza you know you're hanging what seven bucks a day get you in ibiza so it there used to be it's not like it's thailand there there used to be a 750 milliliter uh vodka bottle you could buy for 350 and then there was um you could buy like a week's worth of pasta and sauce and you could live off and eggs, and you could probably stretch that out to about twenty dollars for the week. You know, oh, twenty euros for the, the week. Dumps in that place. And then we, and then we, and then we had orange juice every night. It was just pasta, the worst sauce, nothing else, and, and we cheap would, vodka. And we would drink vodka and orange juice. And so we would get drunk on the vodka and orange juice, go out to the strip, go into all the bars. Then you'd run back to the house, fill yourself back up with vodka, orange juice, go back out. And then we did a That's lot. real dirtbag shit. That's if you're making your own drink and going shit. to try to dance with chicks oh. with a screwdriver. <laughs> In a <laughs> coffee a, mug. Yeah. <laughs> you and your buddy Come are here pe- all the time. passing it around. <laughs> we had like a big Burger King glass. <laughs> yeah, you're dumping, out, dumping the ice out. Hey, hey look like hey, Leon from hey, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Go, hey, hey, baby, can I get you a drink? <laughs> I'll be back in 20 minutes. <laughs> don't go, don't go. <laughs> Stay right here. Give me that cup. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 they don't do food. I brought this from home. It's yeah. Tupperware full That's of spaghetti. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was it, man. Hey, can I interest you ladies in some weak old spaghetti? <laughs> And eggs. And eggs. <laughs> oh, man. Man, I wish we had spaghetti, dude. I wish. Spaghetti with scrambled eggs. That's yeah. a tough look, dude. 
<laughs> yeah, well, we just you just survived, and then you did a lot of ecstasy, a lot of ecstasy. Yeah, that's where'd you get the there? money for that? Hmm? That's what you're saving well, all the money well, on well, the fucking so, screwdriver. Sometimes what you do, yeah, you'd probably buy like fifty and try to sell twenty of them if you could. And that's the cheapest. But again, they're like euro a euro each, so you'd probably take about eight of them. Because if you ever got, if you're lucky, you could get tickets to the biggest nightclubs. Like you'd meet reps, and they would give you tickets. And the tickets are usually like eighty bucks. But then wait, what's a euro each? The pills. Exercise. A dollar? Probably not great. They're That's t- why you they're terrible. eight of them. You'll take eight of them. Jesus. But why, if you went to one of those nightclubs, a bottle of water is 15 uh, euro. A, That's a your drink, whole month. A, a drink, yeah, a drink is like 25 euro. So once they get you in there, you're fucked. Bring it's like the airport. In. You had to. You had to do ecstasy. It was, it was like a, it was good financing. It was to do this drugs. Otherwise, you'd, you'd honestly, I didn't even want it. Otherwise, you're I didn't want to feel. I didn't want to feel love with strangers. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to spend $20 on a beer. So you had to just to honestly to survive. You just had to do, and it was like all chopped up with speed and stuff. And we had a lot of bad come downs. Me and the guy just in the room. You, who's the guy? You just can't a, just drop me and the guy. Oh, the guy's my friend Andy. We 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 went together. So we just had like a two person room in some hotel. You, same room. Same room. Single beds. In a hotel? A uh, no. It was like an apartment complex. Okay. So we just rented it for like six weeks or whatever. Sounds like a nice little vacation. Yeah, we should go there. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's see. We got to do some. I got to do some. I got to do some, some questions. You said you had oh, some questions for us. I so brought let's start in. off so with that. I have a feeling like few of these might have been asked in the past. Well, so here we'll we go. See. Did you ever use a bus ticket to get food out of your teeth? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll use. I'm a big matchbook guy to get. I'll a use match. anything to get it out of my teeth. But oh, a yeah. bus ticket. I don't bus know if ticket, I've ever. Like a subway card or sure. whatever. Yeah, subway cards. Dicey, because you always, I'm like, I've swiped this 10,000 yeah, times. Yeah, I, I use this. Well, I just said bus ticket because it's more universally yeah. accepted. But Matchbooks were big with my dad. My what's, dad would sit there. What's a there, matchbook? Like a book of matches. Like a book of matches. Oh, okay, yeah. He'd sit there, there sideways go. watching TV when we were kids. Dig back in there. Mm. And he would go through like the whole thing. Like he would just. <laughs> oh, he'd use the matches? No, no, he would rip oh, little yeah, sections yeah, yeah. of the of the thing off. The yeah, there ain't nothing better than that corner getting the, in there. The, there is a technique to ripping up something that's too thick for to, your teeth. Yeah, to and get there, you gotta, yeah, you gotta have the the long rip. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, that's why. I, that, that's a it's a horrible skill to have. Yeah, it's a dirt bag. <laughs> if you're like, I'm really good at ripping things into small pieces to fit inside my bed. Teeth. Yeah, you I, see, I, you see a guy, you can't get it out. You yeah. go, hey, whoa, 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 uh, let me mate, let me show you. Come here. Come here. Well, you're probably rich, right? You probably <laughs> use toothpicks. Come here. Let me That's show why you. I like my nails. He uses you, his you, you use your nails. You, you, you get in, you get a nice thick nail, and and you so and dirty. you unpeel it about three quarters of the way. So it's like a little pocket knife. You and unpeel like you cut your nail. So it's like hanging off almost. Yeah, like yeah, bite yeah. it and then like peel it halfway. And peel and it back you, and then dig like that. Dude, that's, those, there's those, so much bacteria in there. Those things that why? I'm you still can here. Taste it. Those those things that they have now, which we just got a whole bag of them, which are fantastic. They're half dental floss, yeah. half ice pick. Yeah, oh. I told you about them. The I slide, use them. Or the glides, phenomenal. The yeah. glides, it's orgasmic when it goes in. One Dude, of, one of you two, when talking about flossing, talked about sniffing it, and I did that. Bad news. And no. now you're under investigation for war crimes because yeah, that yeah. shit is fucking fucked up. It's dude. the worst thing you've ever smelled in your life. How do you guys yeah. not know the bad tooth taste in your mouth that yeah. I've been that I I'm trying you, to talk? I forgot you even guys yeah, mentioned this earlier. I came set down. It has like a bacteria kind of like, like it tastes like a cavity. Know. You don't know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You're smelling your fucking dental floss. What does it smell like? Fucking Satan's asshole, dude. It's yeah. not good. Yeah. It's he, real bad, man. A couple of piggly twirls. Yeah. I used to. Did you guys ever have braces? No. Yeah, I, I had, did. Uh, you had braces, but getting, Brutal. like, when they would clean them or getting them off, Ugh. just the, the smell, because it's just, like, stuff stuck in there. Yeah. The it smell would, of it, a retainer. Oh, my God. It could, it, it would knock out a horse, man. <laughs> oh, there goes Skittles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that shit was brutal. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. one. What else you got? All right, let me let me. If see. these are good, we're gonna cut them out of this episode. I'm gonna use them on another episode. Uh, have you ever intentionally exercised in jeans? <laughs> uh, no. And I don't mean like you showed up to the gym and you realize you forgot. Forgot. Your like you were like, I'm gonna go work out. That's in also jeans. a garbage look. But sure. intentionally going, nah, I'll just wear the uh, jeans. I'll just wear the jeans. No, you see that a lot at the Planet Fitnesses, the Blink Fitnesses. Yeah. It has real suspect energy vibe. It fe- it's like. Anytime you see a guy running even on the street in jeans, you're like, you're running yeah. from something, that's, probably. Yeah, that's a bad look. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. But we used to play, like, peewee soccer and stuff. And, like In jeans? Things like that. Yeah, the, the guys that we would play <laughs> soccer with were rough. Like, they'd be, they'd be substitutes smoking on the sidelines. They'd be 
headbutting the referee. Jesus. Be lo- Kids? Yeah, there'd be local fights. Like, we would show up, and if it was, like, a local... How old are we talking here? Anywhere from, like, 11 to 16. Smoking? Smoking, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd just be on the... Real athletes yeah. out there. The fuck? Yeah, you'd be like, yo, let, give me five minutes, will you? And be smoking in the back. <laughs> I, I've had cigarettes uh, playing defense. You didn't yeah, have... Playing <laughs> defense. <laughs> Dude, because the the ball is up the other end, you're like you in the you in the uh, Mr. goes off sides or whatever. Yeah, you you be hanging out just talking to Weren't the opposition. Were your parents there? Yeah, but you know, didn't you have like a mom that like brought orange slices and you went to like pizza after the game? No, no, women aren't allowed. <laughs> Not allowed on a pitch. Jeez. That'd be crazy if, if if someone's mother was involved in Are the soccer. Are you serious? Kind of, yeah. Ah, oh, my mom fucking ran all that stuff. It was That's great. Why Americans are weak. <laughs> um, yeah, that kid's got a point. But yeah, that guy, was, you did the rights on that one. We, we did it was rough. Yeah, Eleven year old's got to start smoking. Yeah, we would smoke, and then sometimes you show up and you're just like guy playing in jeans <laughs> on the opposite team. That's team. insane to me. Yeah, yeah, that's real playing with adults. Yeah, but then you thirty year old. Yeah, and then there'd be local local guys who were probably like in their mid twenties who just hanging out at the park just on like a Saturday morning. I don't think that Jesus. happens anymore. That used to just, happen. They, I feel like they, you they, park. You were just there was just people around. That the park is probably busy. shouldn't be there. The park was busy. Yeah, and there'd be there'd be like a. a um, black mark from someone who had lit a fire somewhere. Sometimes you show up to play a soccer pitch and like half the pitch is burnt out because it's like a local teenager so to have a fire. Doing Fucking over there. burning witches the night before. Yeah, yeah. Drinking turpentine. Jesus. People would bring their own uh, shopping cart and then flip it so they have like a little seat to watch the game. <sighs> is this is this not? Why not just bring <laughs> a little seat? What well, fucking what are they? The Queen of England? <laughs> Why would you? Yeah, I have a good I have a good shopping cart right here. What are you? Yeah, you just stole this from shit. Aldi. What are we doing? Exactly. Here? I yep. imagine you're playing and like bombs are dropping around. around I imagine not a single blade of grass on this pitch. <laughs> there was some. I picture all dirt and shards all of All broken bottles. We yeah. used to show, and then it would get dry in the, in the summer, so then the pitches would be rock solid, like fucking concrete. So then like, so you couldn't even, like, if you're playing soccer, you couldn't even slide around. Otherwise, your fucking kneecap would be on the other side of the field. Man, that was no, rough. No shot there were nets in the goals. There, it, was, there was nets often. Where but, would the but, ball go? But that's like, like, I imagine I jogging but goalies you don't, but, after but, they But the, the nets, it's, it's like a public park. The nets aren't kept up. You know, yeah. the, let, the nets kids aren't... climbing them you, and shit. Oh, yeah, they'd just be stolen or ripped down. Or, sometimes you just show up and they'll just be like... the for Somehow, even though it's a metal goalposts mm-hmm. that are in the ground, somehow they would have burnt them. Sometimes you'll have... <laughs> somehow... A an inf- like something that's not flammable will have been burnt to the ground by the local teens. So then you're so then you're fucking you get un- some after school activities you're, for these you're, fucking. You're they burned un- down the fire hydrant. You believe that? <laughs> so so you're you're underage. Fire truck torched it. Yeah, you're underage. Four, like your fourteen year old soccer cup game would have to be played with like people's fire extinguisher, people's sweaters as goalposts instead. And then the ref is like, I think that was a goal. And you're like, what? Yeah, that was just my childhood. Yeah. Jeez. Jesus. I remember one time at lacrosse camp, the air conditioner didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I freaked out. I requested a room change. <laughs> yeah, I remember one shit. time our school bought, we were in sixth grade and they bought uh, a K, uh, a metal soccer net. Right. Like, so I guess the idea That's like prison shit. So I guess the idea was like we're not gonna have to redo the. It was like a cage, you know. It ended up just being a cage <laughs> without one side on it. Well, we pushed it up against the fucking building and would put two people in there That's and have awesome. like a fucking full blown UFC match. Wow! <laughs> and if they would try to get out, we'd be fucking like reaching through the cage and like prodding them and stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> And then they moved it away from that, and then we would Make just... Make two dra- stray dogs fight? <laughs> yeah, dude, it was fucking mayhem. Well, you, you'd send kids out. you send, you know, 12-year-olds out with, for an hour-long recess. We're going to get into some fucking shenanigans. Yeah, of course. This is at the height of yeah, WWF, too. Yeah, not you, you didn't guys just didn't burn things? We burn a, we did burn a lot of stuff. <laughs> we were just like a big... Yeah. We were a big burning country. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's chilly. <laughs> It's a Set chi- the fires. Yeah, yeah, we burnt everything. But I, m- but my neighborhood's changed a lot since I, I went home recently, and there was like weird. They moved on the bank. Fraud. There was like, there's like a guard. There's like, you know, the the locals have taken over the park. 
it's a big enough park, but they like have like a little gardening area and things like that where people just like plant flowers. What a, what a park! That's a, nice. Yeah, parks. So that's what and a park's like, supposed I, I to be. Like, and like, I went for a walk with my mother. I was like, dude, when I was growing up, there's no way there wouldn't have just been like twenty kids egging houses, yeah, fighting, smoking, drinking whatever, cans yeah. of cider. All those roses would have been kicked the fuck out. <laughs> just, just, just walking along and kicking just, something just, ain't too shabby. Just, I gotta be honest. Good old fashioned. Yeah, you ever you ever punt a daffodil? Oh, <laughs> oh dude, take the take the head of a rose clear off. Oh, it's someone's oh, expensive roses. Yeah, yeah just ruining right. shit for the sake of ruining. Yeah, you it. you borrow yeah. your dad's driver. You head up there. <laughs> boom. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Walking never, by, ripping a branch just off like, out of, for no reason. Just like all art, local kids like make art now, and they have like like a little art exhibition in the park. It's like what type of the weird, what happened? What happened to all the guys who were just like stab people? Like what the f- what is this? They're all in fucking jail. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they just those ki- their kids couldn't afford the neighborhood, so then they're all yeah, they all got fucking booted out. Good, yeah. Listen, <laughs> yeah, That's gentrification. Great. There you go. Jesus. <laughs> I'm complaining well, now about it's yeah, now yeah, I'm complaining about it. I'm complaining about a nice walk with my mother. Yeah, the neighborhood's really compl- gone to hell, hasn't it, ma? <laughs> yeah. See that vegetable garden over there? Goddamn disgrace. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what else? That it? Those yeah, two? That, that, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We can, we can, we can do a, we can do a couple here nice. uh, from the old uh, Patreon guys. When you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage question. This is from Braxton, and we've talked about this a little bit. I'd love to get your take. What are your thoughts on the aluminum beer bottle? Oh, the, like the, it looks the it's can, plastic. It's, no, it's it, it would be aluminum like a can. Yeah. But it's like the big. Like, they sell them in like games or whatever. It'll be like a Miller Light or like a Bud Light. Yeah, I know the Bud Light ones where it's like a twisty. Yeah, but it's like it's like it's a, shaped like a bottle, but it's an it's aluminum can. Because you can't smash yeah. it over somebody's I head. Don't, I don't like them. They always get given to me at weird events. Yeah, like, they're it's at like, events. It's, like, it's an it event. It comes out of like a tub. Someone you'll, like hands. Yeah, you'll get them at air show vibes. You'll get them at yeah, yeah or exactly. a concert or some <laughs> throwing it at the plane. Real regatta vibes. Yeah, I, I they bug me uh, to drink I, out of. I, I and, and I can't see what's in it. And yeah, that, you can't that, see what's that, in it. And that throws me for a loop. I, that, that freaks me out. Because you can't see what's in it at all. Let me tell you it's this, It's not like a blind of, over A here. bottle of Coke, you have an idea. At least it's some of it's visible. Even a dark bottle of beer, like a Bud Light, you can you see where you see. That's probably you how they get you, because then you end up banging the Mac, and you go, I flew through them. They're ice cold. They do get When they're cold, they get cold. screaming cold. Mm. And for a while, Bud Light had that Bud Light lime, which I don't know if they still have. Yeah, they have But, that. dude, you get a couple of those fucking things, ice cold. <laughs> Oh, wow, Wee! you got very Philly there. They go right. down real smooth. You get a couple of does. <laughs> couple you got of those in here. Uh, yeah. I'm a big fan of them at like a game or an event or something. But you know, I then you were like no, they're trashy, and then I, I, I thought oh, they're I was, fucking real trash. I always thought they were classy. No, nah. I don't. Yeah, I never thought about it. I just go, oh, look at this. Or you know, because in my head, I've paid to be somewhere when they're giving that to me. I yeah. want to paid to be at a sporting event, so I'm like, I, got, I had the fifty bucks for the ticky. Yeah, it means I got a little bit of cash. I'm. But I, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't like I them. Now, now when I see them, I think they're trash. I don't want them near me. I can do a bottle. I can do a can. How much can? Thing. I want to go back to can. I'm, I'm all a about A cold this. can of Tecate or fucking Bud Light or Coors You got me Light. a can of soda the other day. That's all too. I went into a fucking. It was club went, soda. Relax. I Let's, went into a bodega in fucking Brooklyn that was literally in I almost kicked out of the car. A can? Yeah. What, well, you don't like cans? What? A little can of Coke, like? What is this? Oh, the forties? No, it's can? nice. It's the, the, it's the, the, it's the. It's the I a like ca- it. A can it's a little a, more effervescent. Hold on, a can at a party. It's the in contrast. A cooler is different, but when you're on the go, it's got to be a fucking bottle like this. And I also want to go on record and fucking say this right now. Okay. I don't like the fucking skinny can bullshit. No. That they're they, trying to pimp they, on people. They, they can absolutely fuck the off. The fucking truly that's, that's the chaos. fucking uh, I don't white cloth. Get out of here with that shit. I feel fancy. Just put it in a regular no. fucking can. No, my, the new thing is now is like branding. They, they've like my local CVS, if you want a can of Coke, they only sell them in the long. In the the skinny joint. Yeah. Like, they look I'll like red, they look like it. red bulls. It's yeah. cra- and I say I, I won't drink. I'd rather just get water. I know. Like a fucking nun. Yeah. What are we? <laughs> Abu Dhabi. Like What's going pussy. on over here? Yeah, but yeah, I f- yeah. I flip from bottles to cans all the time. It's like I'm like all into like bottles of Bud Light. Now I'm just like all into the small cans. Now. I love a can of beer, dude. A fucking cold can of beer. Yeah. Is I pour you pour it into a glass, Ooh, baby. Gentlemen. No, no. I love the I love the I love the fucking speed bump it gets on the way out of the on the way out yeah. of the. Can. You know, who drinks a good can of beer is Baldwin and the Departed when he's golfing when he's hitting balls. Oh he's yeah. Slicking that fucking Bud can. Ooh, it makes it look yeah. good. Nice. So does Will Ferrell in Anything Must Go. What Good a movie. Th- we, I was 
out recently at like a party or some shit and they, they it was a funeral actually now that I think about it whatever whatever <laughs> way you want to phrase it you know what I mean <laughs> and uh, I was at this rager a couple of nights but they ago had, uh, they had for my dead aunt I took eight <laughs> pills of ecstasy for the yeah, viewing yeah. Dude, <laughs> it was the loser in the box I, talk about a real wet blanket at a party I, yeah, I was trying to fuck around I was chopping are they gonna put hors d'oeuvres on her eventually or what's the deal yeah, I was chopping up on the fucking on the coffin <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the credit card hey you want first I'm just fucking with you <laughs> <laughs> Got the body holding up their finger. Um, but they, the, the person was supplying beers, and they, they had the Corona Premium. You know that, and everyone was, well, everyone was in like, the skinny cans. No, they're bottles. They're just regular, but it's Corona Premium. Uh-huh. It's called, and everyone was like, "Ooh, look at!" It. Everyone was like, "Yeah, oh, we're so fancy." And then I googled it. It turns out it's Corona Extra Light. So they have Corona, and then they got Corona oh, Light, right. then they got Corona Extra Light. Is and that the really low c- calorie one? Yeah, it's but, like uh, sixty two calories. And they, or something. they named the premium, and they kind of put it in like a fancier, a fancier bo- can so, or so bottle. Yeah, yeah. So me and all these other idiots were just like, "Well, look at us with the good shit." Yeah, and it turns out it's actually the worst shit. Yeah, it doesn't like get you fucked up. But like you water. call it premium, your fucking dumb white trash head goes, "Well, da." I went out with my younger cousin <laughs> and his boys yeah. one night down the shore, mm. and my cousin that you met that we were hanging out with it was him and all his boys. I'm like, I'll go out. We went out. I was like already fucked up, and they're. The guy's like, oh, what? his friend's like, I'll buy a round of beers. And he turns around with like six Michelob Ultras. I'm like, what is this, dude? You can't say I'm going to buy a round of beers and they're Michelob Ultras. But that's just like what the young, yeah. in-shape kids are boozing with. Didn't that's even true. ask. They're very carb conscious. Yeah, yeah. You, yo, you guys want to get a bucket of Zimas? That's what I was like, <laughs> so, dude, what? I'm like, Zimas got sugar in them. They wouldn't fuck with them. don't even give me a heads up. I don't even get to pick. Like, hey, what do you want? Wow. You know, you're buying a round of drinks. Hey, well, you know. Hey, Toby, what do you want? This, that. You well, you got to go something a little more middle of the road. Than yeah, that. hey, I got six you... Bud Lights. All right. Michelob Ultra. Well, that was the first and last time I ever had one. <laughs> yeah, they're no good. <laughs> I'm not falling for that shit again. A nice Corona, though, is pretty good. Big Corona guy. So is a, a Cor- Tecate in a can. Ice cold ne- with a lime. A Mexican beer with Mexican food is like a... a oh, yeah. Yeah. Tecate and some Takis. A couple, of, oh, a couple of tacos and a Corona, man. Oh, Love it. yes. Dude, got yeah. the guac it, going. It does. It hits, dude. It hits right. Got chips yeah. and salsa on the table. Ain't nothing. Shake Ooh, yeah. They should do that with every restaurant. Should always be chips and salsa. You're in a Middle Eastern place. Yeah, anywhere. It's so much yeah. better. So Chinese. much better than bread. And I'm saying that as a fat guy. Chips and salsa should be standard on the table everywhere. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right, let's do one more and then we gotta wrap it up. Cool. This is from Chris, uh, new patron, longtime listener. Did you have any tenured crazy or homeless people in your neighborhood growing up? Ideally with a name. Like that's fucking Cracker Jack. Oh, uh, that's, that's just Al. Know, yeah. We so crazy. Or street per I, Everybody sounds we, fucking crazy. Anybody under the age of 18 seemed a little wonky. Yeah. yeah. There, there was a lot of, I don't know if crazy is the right word. There was definitely some sort of deficiency going on. And um, Calcium. They, but we, I don't, we, we didn't really have, in, nope. the, in the city of Dublin, there was a couple of famous homeless people. Because yeah. there's not many. There's only a few. Really? Really? Was, like back in the day. I figured they'd be falling out of windows over there. <laughs> uh, Beating them off with a stick. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah, they just people, uh, we just don't have many homeless people, I guess. But like, it's more like a drug problem, I guess. But we didn't have like, a, like yeah. we didn't have like a fun hobo yeah. called uh, Jinxy or whatever <laughs> who lived know? under the bridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, there was a couple of local like you know. Ah, the, that's just Joe Joe. You know the you know the people that were like they were they were in their fifties, but they had the mental capacity of like a fifteen year old. Like, sure. So those guys would show up on their like, on yeah. their BMX or whatever, yeah, and then you'd be yeah, like, "Oh, it's Rocky," you yeah, know. Yeah, and, yeah, and his yeah. name was fucking Jim. Sure. It, but uh, yeah, we had a few of them, but nothing nothing stands yeah. out. We had know? one in the suburbs. The, we called him the Richboro bum because he lived in Richboro and he lived behind oh. the dry cleaners. Sounds like Jeepers Creepers. And the, the idea yeah. was he uh, the Richboro bum. There was yeah, like, I don't like, like that. A, there was like, like a murder mystery. Just slaughter you with a sickle. <laughs> it's an eight pot. The idea was like he was like the out fucking. There was like the he was the son of this like rich family who was like you know. They were like oil or something. I don't know what the fuck. Is this mm. true or do you guys made this story up? No, well, this was the lore. I don't know. It really could have been. Mm. I, they just said like, he was crazy and like, they, like you would see him and you would like, we'd be on our bikes and we'd fucking peel out, dude. <laughs> Wanted no parts of this guy. What, he'd be just walking around on the side of the road? Yeah, just wandering around. You go, oh, there's the bum. You know. uh, did he, we used to wear you a winter- buy him sandwiches and stuff. Would he wear winter coats in the summer? That's when yeah, he, that's his, when gear he was, his gear wasn't seasonal. That's when you know to stay away. Yeah. That the if you, in New York, oh. and if a guy's got a coat on in the summer in New York, you cross the, the street the, and you can tell by the shoes too. There was a crazy guy that I used to see when I was in college in the city, and 
he was I guess, I guess he was notorious. He was a fucking I guess like a, a sweater sweater beast or whatever. Like he would just like, he would wear clothes like sweater beast. He he would wear clothes like like uh, like he was about yeah, sweater con, huh? You know you know when they're about to upcharge you on the airplane. So you go, hold on, hold on. I put all your clothes on. <laughs> this guy, I saw I had a carry on guy. He, it was like something out of a, yeah, a yeah. sitcom. Like, and he would just have every piece of clothing out, and then he would sit outside in the sun, it, it, which is rare. But he, there would be like a coffee shop, and he would sit in the sun, just baking sweat. it in. And, but it wasn't like, you know, I it, couldn't wait for the wrestling match. No, he was a heavy boy too. But uh, yeah, he was he was nuts. He was yeah, just like yeah. I don't know. That was his thing. Just like sweat the fucking. Certain conditions, I think you can't feel the outside. Yeah, temperature. certain you mental know. or uh, things, or if you're on the on or off medications, you don't feel the heat sensation. Yeah, we, that's why like oh. the whole, a lot of the homeless guys, if like schizophrenia, they have like fifty yeah, jackets we, on. There was a makeup lady no too. Shoes or now, that, now that I think of it, where I grew up, not that many, but in the city. You would know them. There's not that many. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. New York's insane. Dude. What if you were him and you just didn't realize it? Th- is that what you're saying? Yeah. Right. Everybody's talking. They're like, hey, that, that homeless guy got it. That homeless crazy guy got his shit together. Apparently, right, he moved to New York and opened up a podcast. This, this whole thing is like this a Shutter Island experiment yeah. just to get me to realize that I'm fucking sitting outside a coffee shop with a fucking hat on. Yeah. Or nine sweaters. <laughs> I've got 14 scarves. Yeah. Uh, there was a makeup lady, too, we had. Like, just a crazy makeup lady. Oh, yeah. she, wait, she, did she wear a shit ton of makeup? She, her, it was like the Joker. Like her, oh, her that's lipstick, frightening. Like, the lipstick would literally be like, like just... Like a smiley face on That's it. And then it was just like crazy weird colors on the face. And, you know, like walking along. And I was like wearing some sort of like a, almost like a, like a slutty costume. Like like a tiny, oh, sure, like a, le- a leopard fur jacket. And she's just waddling mm-hmm. around, just covered in, it was nuts. Yeah, just a just mm-hmm. a couple of nuts. That's that scary. That scary. That's like Mrs. Dinsmore from. I I think Ireland. Great expectations. Yeah, but the problem is, I think Ireland doesn't take much for us to put you in, put you away. Oh really? <laughs> New York's I, similar. I think Ireland has a very, very easy. Oh, you're saying if you're crazy, you get they, they, yeah, they toss you in the clink. It wouldn't take much. Do you gotcha. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel some of the arguments that you guys have had was probably enough for you to be like, listen, this guy prefers. <laughs> this guy, yeah, this guy's bonkos. Yeah, yeah. this guy prefers, one slip of the lip. This guy prefers chorus light. Get this. <laughs> fucking, you're in a home. Take yeah. him to the asylum. That's my, that's my endurance beer. We had a guy, guy's a celebrity growing up, Howard. He went to high school with us. He was older. He was special needs, but he was always the basketball manager, the football manager, sure. all that kind of stuff. And he would always ride his bike around. And anytime anybody sees him, yells, yo, Howard. Yeah. And he'd always hey, yell back. Ha- yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. Love awesome. that. Small town vibe. Ah, he's great. I saw him recently, too. He's still out there kicking it. It's good shit. Yeah. Shout out to Howie. Shout out to him. Howie, Our- if you're out there, join the Patreon. <laughs> Get a couple bucks together. Come see us. Kali T, what do you got? What do you got coming up? What do you want the kids to know? Plug dates, uh, plug the page. Yeah, obviously come over to um, the Column Tyrrell. Oh, <laughs> obviously come over to the Column Tyrrell podcast uh, that's available everywhere on YouTube. Uh, it's just YouTube forward slash Column Tyrrell. Uh, I'm doing some road gigs right now with uh, Dad Me. Ooh, your friends, love those boys. Friends of the show. Love the Mr. Dad Mr. Butterly, boys. Mr. Yeah. Rainey. Nice gentleman. Yeah, so we've got dates coming up in Buffalo, Philly, uh, Detroit, Cleveland, Houston, Woo, Austin, Look at that. North Carolina, Look Indianapolis, and we're adding much more. So um, they're available. Just follow me on social media at Colin Tyrrell. You can get tickets for that. But more importantly, just come over, check out the podcast. The boys were just on it. We had a great episode. We had a great time. And you're, you're cruising along to being the highest rated. Did you hear that? that? Listen, if you're out there, I don't care if you watch this Bozo show. I'm kidding. Go, <laughs> go Choose make the us the number one vid, baby. What yeah. are we doing? Okay, yeah. we love and you. Obviously, so nice. I'm, obviously, I've got a Patreon too. So if you have a couple of nickels to help me pay <laughs> off, uh, guys, I, our got, Uncle Sam, a couple <laughs> <of chilies. laughs> he's really, you know, he's, he's he went out on a limb. He's doing it himself. He's doing, you know, he's following our footsteps. Fucking go support him. Go watch it. Whatever. Watch. Subscribe. Please. Do it. Thank you, yeah. buddy. We love you. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Thank appreciate you, it. Kepi, what do you got for him? Uh, guys, we're on the fucking road. We're coming. California. Out California. Cali. Nice. Uh, uh, San Fran, L.A. Oh, SF. I apologize. SF, L.A., uh, La Jolla, and then obviously we're gonna be at Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Chicago, Rosemont, uh, Denver, Salt Lake City. What's the other one on that? Phoenix, and we're adding more dates. Ireland, Denver. Works. I just said Denver. I got them all. Nice. Yeah. Gonna be in Cali in a couple of weeks. Come out and see us. We're gonna have a good fucking time, gang. We love you. We'll see you next week. Thank you.